The space test program has had a ton of successes over the years. With our 50 year history, we've been involved in a lot of uh, systems to include some of the mainstays in the uh, nation's arsenal right now. Give me a range and grid to the target. Range is 1,700 meters. Hey, we're still waiting for the satellites to acquire. To include uh, the GPS navigation system. Can I get a status check on all the vehicles over the target region? Sir, all birds in area are healthy. We have a good farm on the GPS. Building grid, 42 Tango. Charlie Whiskey, 982-468. Roger, give me a sensor over the target. Bronco, this is double three. We have eyes on the target area. Currently eyes on three tangos. Requesting ISR to verify HVT. Also, uh, military satellite communication systems such as Milstar and Discus. Currently, double one requesting to arm overwatch. Request you push the double one at the following grid. 42, Tango, Charlie, Whiskey, 98. Roger, Bronco, pushing to double one, and we'll contact him on yellow, zero, one. Stand by for a full 360. Looking for a positive ID on HVT1, how copy? Good copy, standing by. How's the feed look? Hey, what's the status of Alpha 1? I show no interference, RPA Alpha 1. Good handshake with Alpha 1. Double 3, your Reaper is on station. Call sign Alpha 1, how copy? Good copy, call sign Alpha 01. Requesting follow on cast to our location as well. Double 3, you have two F-16s inbound. TOT is 15 mics, call sign Hornet 1. Double three, Bronco five three three. Be advised, we're showing indications of jamming over the target area. Bronco Devil zero three, how do you read? Bronco Devil zero three, how do you read? Any station, station Devil zero three, how do you read? 2017 marks the 50th anniversary of the Department of Defense Space Test Program's first launch. Happy birthday, STP! And has flown over 568 experiments on over 251 missions to date. The DoD Space Test Program is important to the space community because uh, we are the one-stop shop for finding platforms, launch vehicles, rideshare opportunities, hosting opportunities for experiments that need to go to space. It's going pretty good. Yeah? We did the Kaiji and Wolji versions. And essentially, our value is uh, to the experimenters who uh, already have a hard time getting enough funding to just develop their experiment. We help them by enabling them to get their experiment to space and basically paying for their opportunity. It's so important to be able to celebrate our successes and the rich legacy that the space test program represents over now 50 years. It's hard to believe. The Space Test Program is managed under the Air Force's Space and Missile Systems Center, Advanced Systems and Development Directorate, and continues to provide access to space for DOD-sponsored research and development missions. We do pride ourselves on uh, getting a big bang for the buck, as evidenced by the number of missions and experiments that we've flown throughout our 50-year history. In addition, uh, the Space Test Program uh, through our office at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas uh, has been the DOD's face to NASA uh, and we've flown various experiments uh, throughout the years on the Space Shuttle and the International Space Station. That's the beauty of space. It's an operational area, it's a warfare domain that cuts across all services, all other domains, reaching into the intelligence community and truly delivering national level capability. Generations of STP alumni, along with current team members and associated members of the space community, gather at Kirtland Air Force Base, New Mexico to celebrate this hallmark and share their expertise and experiences over the years. 50 years later, how are we using space to gain the information and knowledge that we need to stay ahead of our would-be adversaries? How are you going to command and control or manage or understand or operate with all of those pieces of space objects if you're trying to count them one by one and think about each one. Experiments like this to figure out how to tag those satellites and then start to operate as a network, that's pretty cutting edge stuff and it's something we gotta get done. And we're getting to work on this through the program of STP. 
It is risky to use unproven technology for critical systems. The DoD realized that before developing and deploying space systems for operational use, it needed to test such systems in space. It was out of this need that the DoD Space Test Program was born by providing a single point of contact for access to space for DoD experiments. This access to space on nearly 600 now missions has enabled significant gains in many areas from navigation and timing to wound healing and medical device development. In addition, STP's innovation culture drove advancements to spacecraft engineering, reusable experiment deployment hardware on the space shuttle, as well as adaptive secondary payload buses. These innovations have put more experiments on orbit at an even lower cost. Each member of this STP team should be justifiably proud of your accomplishments, and I am proud to have been a part and associated with the STP team. But that's all history. The next 50 years is, will be even more challenging, and that's what we've got to do. We've got to look forward. So I expect STP to continue to evolve in the future and taking advantage of our innovative culture that we have here. 50 year history comes from a long line of being involved in um, maturing technology and demonstrating capabilities to help the warfighter and help continue the, the fight in space. Only time will tell what future systems will ultimately be fielded using technologies demonstrated through STP. The Space Test Program will continue to break space barriers to ensure cutting-edge DoD research has a path to space. Thank you for all that you have done and all that you will do. All right. Congratulations, yeah. STP. Thank you for celebrating this amazing milestone with us. 50 years of passionately breaking barriers with our amazing partners. 